there is not even a close second in activity that can grow your business to a proper organic social media. How do I post a video and picture every single day on social media to grow my business? The thing is what I learned in the past year of running a startup as a CEO and founder in the AI data science space and tech space. I went into this with the expectation of building amazing products. I went into this entire thing only thinking about tech and data science and AI and software engineering. I thought, okay, what's an amazing product and everything. But I was never thinking about marketing or sales and stuff like that. And I very quickly realized after just a few months, like two months or something, that we need sales and marketing as soon as possible. So we basically had, had to change our entire process and everything we do so we can build it around sales because you want to validate your idea as fast as possible and you really do this if you're able to sell your product. You can imagine the best product is completely worthless if nobody knows about it. Like you can have this perfect technology or whatever and if they don't know about it and don't buy it, then it doesn't matter. You will close shop, you will go bankrupt and that's it after a few months and you run out of money. And basically what's happening then if you do this very well, it's you have inbound marketing, you have outbound marketing. So if I do an advertisement, I want to reach some specific people. And if you ever like put an ad online on Facebook or whatever, you, you are like looking for some niche or something. You say, okay, I want to, this should be shown to male population from age, whatever to whatever, and they should be interested in this topic. And inbound marketing if you do founder led is completely different because you are building a brand organically it doesn't cost you anything but time basically you're putting content out they will find you and then they will come to you if they buy something so it's very much organically different so instead of chasing leads you attract the people who align with your vision and have a need for your solution and when, when you have inbound marketing and this founder-led marketing, it's, it would be easy. Like many will probably say, okay, why can GPT not do this? If you just give GPT, like write a LinkedIn post, it will be absolutely horrible content that nobody will read. And the algorithm will also punish it, will be like bad. And it's not like I don't get likes. You, you punish your personal brand with that because it means you are lazy and you will be known for creating shit content. So <laughs> there must be some better process. Uh, it shouldn't be too time consuming. It shouldn't be too expensive. And that's the entire point you have facing the entire problem. Because if you have a startup, you are running a business, you have employees, you have payroll, you have everything to manage. Where, when is the time to write a post consistently, like three, four posts a week? That's not that easy. So it's a huge problem. First thing you should question yourself is, can I validate my idea? Is my idea validated? And the good thing with this is, I'm my own target group. I face this problem. I want the solution mm -hmm. and I'm targeting people like me who run a business, who run a consultancy, who are startup founders, who are like managers or whatever. They want to create content. They don't want to spend too much money, but they want organically growing accounts uh, and basically not a super polished bullshit type of marketing. So it's a, you're running against time, basically. When you realize you need marketing and sales, you need marketing and sales, what do you do? Usually you would say, okay, I need to hire some sales guy. That doesn't make sense if you run your own company, you don't have money, you have to do your sales yourself. So what all these people do basically is called founder-led marketing, like Elon Musk, for example, or Mark Zuckerberg. You don't really know specifically their businesses or whatever, but you know the person and they are famous and that makes you know the business. It's just about sharing your journey, personal journey, and making it relatable and people who are interested they will follow you they will gain some knowledge from you some experience that you are facing and then they will automatically know about your company they will trust you and i realized okay I, I want to have this we need like a personal founder's brand or whatever and i was reaching out to people on linkedin and saying can you do this for us like consultants who are doing this for a living and most of them actually said no time we are booked out for the next like eight months or something we have no capacity and a few of them made a call and told us 
okay, we will do it. We have the intro call and everything. And then basically for the pricing, it's like multiple thousands, tens of thousands of euros per month, basically for automating our LinkedIn. But I thought there must be some easier way and there must be a cheaper way, but not writing everything myself. So what can a computer scientist do besides completely over-engineering the entire problem? But you want to be as quick as possible and then validate and see if it works. So you would so you need to prototype quickly. And I also used this opportunity to try some new things. So I did a front end with React and V0 just to keep it automated. And I was using it to skimming through different uh, designs and whatever on the front end side of things. And uh, back end I did with Python and new, I, I never used it before, I used uh, Cursor to do this in a very automated way because kind of like ChatGPT copying everything over is a tedious process and like a sub suboptimal process. And also Visual Studio Code with Copilot is also not that great in my opinion. So I tried Cursor and basically I built this microservice architecture where the Python backend that's handling the user and everything, have handling the API requests and stuff like this. And on the other hand, there's the front end with uh, React which is handling all the front end kind of things. And it turned out to look actually amazing and work very well. I think because I'm not a front end person, I'm like a data science machine learning person. React is completely like new for me. I, I know a little bit of JavaScript, but I don't really see myself in that niche. But with V0, it was actually amazing to quickly prototype and go over it and also very understandable. And especially with ShedCN, that made it very like easy to comprehend, also for a non-frontend person. And in the backend side of things, an entire like application and having the microservices communicate with each other, the Docker files and Docker Compose and stuff like this, Cursor was also extremely helpful and was very nice to work with it. I think in comparison to like using ChatGPT for coding in Cursor, it easily gave me double speed boosts and I was I was doing very well and I was like very impressed by how this workflow is actually performing very good. So when talking to these experts in marketing and founder-led marketing, the process they are working with is basically they do an interview with you. So they ask you questions that they find interesting. They're basically interviewing you like for a magazine or something interview. They basically get all this content out of you. All this information like your experiences your life story whatever like what did you do this month basically type of thing because all the time something new is happening and then you have new content and when they have all this information from you they will save it in a database basically and then out of this they generate posts but they're only drafts they only have bullet points they have but very strong hook and all the kind of things that are necessary basically and you take this and finish it yourself Sometimes they finish it, sometimes you finish it yourself. You can always change it and stuff like that. And then you post it. So you have the knowledge base, you have the draft phase, and then you have the posting phase. And I thought myself, can this not be done differently? The application I'm building is basically doing exactly this. You have a component where you ask questions, but they will be asked by AI and not some overpaid marketing agency. This will extract the main content out of you and be the knowledge base. From this base, drafts are being written in a storytelling type of writing. So there's an arc and a storyline to it, but it will only be a draft. And then you can basically swipe through drafts and say, okay, I want this, or I don't like this. And then you basically select the ones you like and can finish them yourself, write them for yourself, and then you can post them. And this process is super easy because you're basically collecting content and then you can skim through it quickly and do the entire pipeline, for example, for the next five weeks or something in one single day, a super quick. So I also did a website and basically for that I went to Spline. There you can find like 3D models and all that kind of stuff. They're all interactive. And I just went to the community tab and found something that's kind of fitting for the project we are doing. I just downloaded that and used it for the website background and the website I did with a tool called Card, where it's super easy. You can do like drag and drop kind of website very quickly. I also bought a domain name at Namecheap 
and connected it to the website. And all in all, it was like a $20, $30 cost. So super cheap to validate. If you are looking to automate your content generation for LinkedIn, then you can go on the website. I will link in the description and register for the waitlist. And I will pick 10 or 20 people to use the prototype for free in kind of a beta. So we just collect some feedback. If these topics, startups, AI, how to validate ideas, etc., are interesting to you, then consider following, uh, giving me a thumbs up so I will continue doing these videos and also check my LinkedIn and follow me on LinkedIn. Thanks.